Greetings, friends, and how are you today? I just watched the opening uh, to Bannon's War Room, and I vey, uh, Joy Reid, you know, talking about Trump's calling himself the second coming of Jesus, and and there, and then you got the Transgender Awareness Day on Easter, and then Jim Wallace, this this nut job is funded by George Soros, um, comes out with a book called uh, The White, I don't know, White Gospel, or something like that, White Rage, White Christianity. It's like the devil wants so desperately to create a race, spiritual of hostility and anger and warfare, combined with a religious war. And I think it's because he recognizes that the church is putting all the pressure on him and the praying that's going on. Uh, Mark Elias is on today and MSNBC, hilarious. He's the evil genius. He's the, he's the you know, Professor Moriarty behind the left, uh, the lawyer guy. And, you know, he, he engineered all the ballot laws that got changed in all the states that got all the, you know, the surge of ballots that even overruled state legislators. Like in Pennsylvania, how did Trump have 800,000 votes when he went to bed? And he lost the election by like 20,000 by the next morning. Well, it's all this flood of ballots. You know, the 2,000 mules thing. Our camp is pretty clear on the theft issue. Why don't the, why doesn't everybody just have to present a driver's license? And a proof of, you know, a proof of citizenship, an ID, a, a driver's license, a visual ID, a social security number. I mean, if you can't prove you're actually an American citizen, um, you know, then I don't think you should be imported it with eight to 10 million people through the border, given credit cards, free hotels, and then, you know, an a application to go vote and then go vote for the guy that gave you the free credit card. Not the way it works there, Mark Elias. Anyway, he's warning people that the threat to democracy, courage, he says, will be needed in the boardroom. Courage on the campus. Courage in the halls. Courage. Yeah, we're going to need courage. You know why? Because these radical on the right are going to steal it. So Hillary Clinton's saying they're going to steal it. Our big concern is how to keep the election from being stolen. Their big accusation is if we win, we stole it. You see how this thing works here? Anyway, can't let it get under your skin. Courage. That's why we're doing the Courage Tour. Because it's actually us that needs courage, because we're the ones that they blow up their cars, threaten their lives, attack them. They, uh, they try to come up with this white Christian uh, nationalist rage. Remember that when they're trying to cover that Christian nationalists, white Christian nationalists are going to be gathering, or the white nationalists are going to be gathering in Washington, and like four guys showed up. I think they even paid them from a fraternity. Four guys showed up in Washington. Now, we're the ones that are under threat that need security and protection from the radical 200 that, that, that put 200, uh, I think they killed 200 in the last summer of love. And... Uh, yeah, right. Like the guys that go up and blow people's brains off, they wear a MAGA hat. We, we're familiar with that story, folks. So, no, we're not, uh, we're not, we're not, we're thinking the courage is on our side because the courage, that's why we're doing the courage tour. Next week, Georgia, on the 11th, 12th, and 13th at the gas center. You know what? We're putting our foot on the gas, baby. Foot's on the gas. We're going, we're going to accelerate because America must be saved. America's got to be salvaged from open borders, $1 trillion of debt every 100 days, and our Republicans are no, are, are no strong resistance. They're not a firewall, folks. We wouldn't have these, these disastrous economic Great Depression bills, is what they ought to call it. The Great Depression Accelerator. That's what I'd call it. The GDA. Yeah, the Great Depression Accelerator. <laughs> Anyhow... Oh, and then I wake up to this piece of cheery news. Lance, there's somebody who is acting like you, using your face. Lance Walner, 18171, with 9,000 followers already. And they're calling me up, asking for my, do I want to pray? And then they're going to hit me up for money. Let me tell you something, folks. That, anytime you see a Lance underscore wall now with a number... With 9,000 followers, that's not me. That's a fake news. That's like the Democrats. That's a fake account. You want the real news? 
I just stuck my new picture on. I wanted to contrast it with that one. I put a little sideways picture on there. I'm having a microphone at Flashpoint last week. 136,000 followers, not a million. 136,000. Hey, help me out here, people. Go over to Instagram. Give a brother a, a dime, will you? Yeah, give me uh, 136,000. Get up to 137. But uh, you don't follow each other on Instagram. <laughs> I asked I asked my staff to send me something. They don't even follow me. They don't follow me on Instagram. <laughs> I said I need a new account. You started a chat with Lance. All right. Hello, this is actually Lance. That's what you're going to get from me. Accept my message. If it's me, it'll be this guy. Not that guy, 1817-1. You got it? With me, with the side profile here. Not this, uh, this picture there. It's fine, but it's, it's, this is the one I'm using here. All right? Oh, waking up to these things, I tell you. Then I got, you know, the Bible says that the evil, they have, they're having done all the stand, stand. I'm, the only way you can stand is to kneel. I'm going to go pray. Going to go into my little cubicle in there. You know where it is, the old periscoping room where I used to walk around and pray. I'm going to go back in there and pray. Because this is one of those weeks, I'm telling you. I'm not trying to confess it. I'm just saying. Hey, Vey, I can't, I can't read it a list. I just wrote a list to some of my staff, one of, uh, to one of the staff members. It's why I'm feeling a little bit, well, let's just say a little bit agitated today. I got this. I've got disaster dreams people are sending me. I got uh, threats. I've got strife. I got rip-offs. Hey, Vey, hey, what the hey, but you can do all things to stand if you're on your knees. So I'm going to go pray. Anyway, I want you to know the facts here. Take a look at that. The Tale of Two Cities. That one, fake. That one, real. Okay, I guess you now know. And by the way, it's going to take courage. <laughs> They're saying it's amazing how twitched to how almost like mirror image this thing is. They're saying Trump's the Messiah. This is going to provoke all those never Trump or Christians that can't stand Donald Trump because they believe the lies from the left more than they believe the truth. They'll listen to that and say, this is what bothers me about Trump. This is what bothers me about Trump. No, knucklehead. This is what bothers me about you. You listen to them. Get your deserting up, will you? We can't afford to have the Christians Go waffling now. It's a clear choice. Good and evil. Good and evil. This is what it is, my friend. It's good and evil. All right. Do the good thing. And put courage in the chat, by the way. If you put courage in the chat, I'll get you a link to the tour. Lord knows who's going to be showing up at this one. But we're going to do it anyway. I got Marjorie Taylor Greene coming out. That girl's a fighter. Barry Lowermuck's coming out, too. He's got his district there. He's doing the January 6th research. He's, he's, uh, he's got his own, his own brand. He's not an MTG person, but he's, he's strong. And uh, let's see. Who else do we have? Jensen Franklin's coming out. But thank God bless him. He's a great guy. I got Brother, uh, Brother Lairdon helping me out. Brother Lairdon's helping me out with a cool church up there in Georgia that's had water baptism revival. I got to find out more about it, man. Let that, let that pastor talk. Water baptism revival. We should probably have a water baptism tank. I didn't think of that. Uh, we got a lot of great speakers. I mean, I'm not remembering all of them now because I didn't call to talk about that. I just called to tell you. Y'all never have me re requesting money from you on Instagram or on Facebook. If you ever get a message from me, say, hi, how are you? Do you have any prayer needs I can pray for? Not me. I'm actually not calling a million people and saying, you got any prayer needs this week? I do have a prayer call. When I do it, Annabelle's sitting next to me. It's usually Zoom, and we're both yakking. But you're never going to get a personal message from me saying, help me, help me, Rhonda. And if you do, it'll have my own unique kind of style, probably a video. It will not be. Can I pray for you? Do you have any needs? I have some needs. You know what I love to do with these goofball accounts? I'd love for you to contact them and say this. What I always tell people, I say, do this. Contact these fake accounts and say to that guy, Lance Walnut, 18171, hey, I really feel led to send you uh, some money 
But I need to know specifically, uh, what are your needs right now? And by the way, do you remember that prophecy you gave me about riding the elephant? What did that mean? See, just set him up with some goofy thing. Remember that time uh, you and I were in the jacuzzi there with Yasser Arafat? Uh, that was great, wasn't it? And then have the guy right back. Yeah, that was great. Always love being with you. By the way, see, so set him up with some, some test, you know? You know what I'm saying? Be creative with them. Engage them. Might as well have some fun. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye. But remember, put courage in the, in the chat thread. Courage, courage, courage. Woo! I'll send you a link to our, our tour. Bye-bye.